I love it when a successful author is so successful that then the publishing company comes out with a paperback version, which is true of Dr. Gladys McGarry's The Well-Lived Life. Oh, what makes this kind of unusual is, is that she wrote it when she was 102 years old. Gladys, <laughs> welcome back to Channel 7. Welcome back to my company. I always love talking to you. Uh, it's been for, for years we've been talking. Uh, yes. You and know, and in, my kids were little, they came and, to your show. And about, uh, yes, uh, the Wallace and Landmo show, right. Right? right? And that is almost 100 years old by itself. Yeah, so. Listen, the well-lived life, the fact that you just had a... Um, a, a, a changing hands book signing yeah. at 103 years old. Uh, that means you're really cooking and <laughs> things are going well in your life. Oh, I know you're a competitive woman. Uh, the Guinness Book of Records just said that there's a man who's 111 somewhere in Europe and a woman who's 117. Those are the two oldest people in the world. <laughs> Are you ready to go after that record? <laughs> I've, well, I've got a lot of work to do in between, so uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you did a lot you know, of work it's, on it's this. It's what the... life leads me in my path, and I've got a path that I have to take, so I'll take it. Well, and that is also one of the secrets that I read about, the six secrets uh, in the book. Uh, give me one. I don't want to tip the book so that people know everything that's in it already. Give me one of the six secrets that you wrote about to a well-lived life. Each one of us is here for a purpose. We each one have our specific place. It's like a huge jigsaw puzzle. We have our place in that jigsaw puzzle and no one else can fill it. So that's our spot and we, when we find it, we need to fill it out the way it needs to be filled out. And it's a great opportunity to do that. To Is your purpose it. in life to be a healer? Well, it's, that's part of it. But it's, uh, you know, to love and laughter and, and hope and the things that make people happy and the things that make us want to live for life, you know, live on life. Live into the light, not into the darkness. You know, that, why, why, why do we want, to want people want to move into darkness? It's hard. But you know, if you're looking for the light, you'll find it. It's always there. It's just that we have people, to look for it. I know some people, Gladys, and we all do, who live a life of uh, deprivation. They decide that, that, well, I'm not going to eat that because uh, it might harm me, and I'm not going to go travel because I'm just going to relax and take it easy in my house and my neighborhood. What do you think about that kind of an attitude toward life? If that's what they choose, it's their choice. It's not mine, but if that's their choice, you know, I'm not going to interfere with that. I like to have uh, reach out to them so, to, to let them see that there are other ways of looking at it. But if they don't want to, that's their choice. You were born, actually, or lived the early years of your life internationally in India, and you were acquainted with Mahatma Gandhi? Yeah, well, I, my mother went into labor at the Taj Mahal. She, I think she's kind of a <laughs> drama queen, you know, with me. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I made it to the hospital and I got born. But um, yes, I saw Gandhi and and uh, he was and my parents were friends with him, so they uh, you know worked together when the partition happened in India. And, and uh, at my in my house, I have a shawl that Gandhi gave my mother and a blanket that my he gave my dad, you know, but they were they were good friends. Now listen, uh, Gladys, before we have to say at least so long for a while, till your next book, I want to know about this juice that you think that everybody should know about. Okay, well, I had written five other books, but they were all medical books. So it was about 
disease and about working with people who were sick and all of that. But they, they didn't quite get what it was that I was trying to say beyond the medical aspect of it. So this book kind of holds my juice in it. It's, it's saying, this is the way that I want to live, and I like to have other people reach for it because it's a really a, a fun place to be around. It's a great juice to have every morning with breakfast and Dr. Gladys McGarry's book, The Well-Lived Life, available everywhere now in paperback. It's good to see you.